Hey guys, nice to see you again. My name is David. I'm Scott. We're back and we're here to talk to you about some exciting stuff today. So it's a little bit of an unboxing for sure, but we want to focus in on the purchasing process and a little bit that uh, went along with that. Yeah. You remember the Firefly uh, that Scott purchased. LPS that is still playing fantastic and very pleased with his purchase. This is the Chameleon Green model. So maybe we'll take a seat and can you walk us through maybe some of the purchasing process that you went through with your guitar? Yes, what I did after watching a lot of these videos was learn that I needed to go to the website guitarsgarden.com and that's where I found a huge selection of these fireflies and this one jumped out at me. I've previously built a Les Paul style kit and had a fun time learning how to do all of that that is involved with that. I always liked the Les Paul design and after building that kit, this one jumped out at me because it is a finish that I don't think I could have ever achieved on my own. And that's what appealed to me the most. Did you initially see it on YouTube, right? Yes. Okay. I did some reviews of this exact guitar. Right. On and YouTube. then was there a link in the description or did you just search for there probably it separately? Was. I searched for it separately. Okay. All right, well, cool. So I made a purchase as well. Um, we'll put a picture up in a little later, but basically that's the gist. You can zoom in, but I'll tell you what it is. It's called a custom white Randy Rhodes electric guitar with EMG pickups and ebony fast uh, fretboard fast ship. So that should have been one of my first clues on some of the wording. So I as well saw a YouTube video from if not far from Firefly, it was talking about a Firefly guitar. Yes. And it was a 1974 replica of Randy Rhodes, kind of yellowed, white, yes. Les Paul. So I get on and I see the Firefly one. Yeah. Then I see another advertisement that shows one with EMG pickups. Yeah. $88 extra. The, the price of the guitar was $288. So I thought, active EMG pickups, those are close to 250 <laughs> They're expensive. So, I ordered that's the so guitar. Me, initially, that's what appealed to you the most, yes. is uh, Randy Rhodes style Les Paul guitar with EMG pickups. Yes, and I thought, what, and just the pickups alone, it's yeah. worth it. Yeah. So, I purchased the guitar. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking this is still the Fire brand well yeah. the next day or two I get more curious about my purchase it wasn't <laughs> supposed to show up until December 18th so you know I'm kind of yeah. let's do some more research yeah I'm noticing little things like EMG spelled with a lower case E M G. Oh, not all three capital letters right. okay yeah. so I reached out to the seller with some questions yeah. are these active pickups and from the Photoshop pictures once again out of all the pictures, none of them showed the headstock with the name on it. <laughs> yes. They were all perfectly cut to not show you the headstock. Yes. Which is this portion of the guitar. So the message seemed to go through, but I never got a response. So looking deeper onto the ad, it did say these are passive EMG pickups, which not a deal breaker, still EMG pickups. You would hope for active. I was hoping for active and I had then looked up EMG pickups yes. and for a set for this guitar uh, was about a hundred bucks. So, so what you're saying is EMG does make both active and passive pickups. And which I didn't know. I didn't yeah. know that either. Yeah. Okay. So getting a little more curious, I start looking at his reviews and likes and most of them seem like they were written from the seller. You know how that goes. They just looked mm -hmm. wording wise. Um, a little skeptical. You, you started to get a little more and more skeptical. Yes, yes. I looked at other guitars that he had and they are all kind of cut out pictures of other guitars. Mm. So at this point, the yeah. guitar has already been purchased. I did look into returning the guitar just to see if that was possible, and of course, no. How, how long after ordering did you get confirmation, and then how long after that did you receive the product? The next day, uh, 
I reached out with the questions. The day after that, I looked into possibly, you know, because of not knowing the name brand, returning the guitar. And it was said that it would be no problem. I had 90 days, but they had to ship it first. And I would be responsible to ship it back. Uh, Okay. So the mystery is building, but it's also quite a long ways from December 18th, three weeks ago. Yes. So... What happened? It showed up in the mail about two and a half weeks after the purchase. Okay, okay, which is reasonable, quite a bit ahead of the projected delivery date. Yeah. Now, out of all the sketchiness, there was some legitimate things I started noticing, too, that he apparently has sold other guitars, and not only guitars, but parts to guitars, like tuning keys and stuff. And when the people said what they liked and didn't like, they said the product was good, but the wait time was a long time. Okay. But it started making me feel a little bit better because those seemed legit. Yeah. So anyway, the box showed up, felt a little light, but I did, and this is a trick that if you haven't thought of it, to weigh a guitar, you just get on your scale and then get off your scale, your home scale, and then hold the guitar again. So this one weighed, 10.2 10.2 pounds with the packaging. Package. All packaging. So we're hoping the guitar is around eight pounds. That would make sense. What we're really hoping for is that it's not a brick or two <laughs> packed tightly in styrofoam or a, a, a bag of bolts because believe it or not, one time I ordered an alternator and got the same amount of weight in bolts. Of course, I returned it successfully, but you never know anymore what you're going to get. This is a truly mystery guitar. Yes. (laughs) If it's even a guitar. We have been waiting for this day for a long time. Yeah. And what we're going to do is open it up right now for you. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get this opened up and either have a Portland cement guitar (laughs) shaped or hopefully a guitar. But I don't know how this will work out. So we do not know who makes this guitar. So, it is truly a mystery. Uh, We're hoping for the best. And actually, I haven't really been bad-mouthing the person who sold it because maybe it's legit. I don't think it is anything like a Chipson knockoff because those are still pretty expensive. This, again, was $288. Um, Very much a mystery box. Probably isn't the best way to buy a guitar, but it is a guitar, so yeah, that's good. 100% a guitar. What do you think? Okay. First, okay. okay. First Missing the little thing, but that's probably in there. In a bag, somewhere. Yeah. There. Okay. So shipping, it made it. This is interesting. We've already got some extra packing. Yeah. That's... The label did say it did come from China. Um, so we'll just continue taking some of this out here. Put this over here, grab some of this, and we'll just keep going. Okay, for a little more anticipation, we'll show you the a little parts bag that comes with a truss rod Allen wrench. And yeah. Cheap cord, but that's to be expected. You know, for the rest of you that have watched these videos, yeah, you usually just do get a, a little startup set there. Oh, I do. Let's see, here we go. Take this. All right. Wow. So yes. it does have some weight. That's about how they should feel, I would it's say. It's not a bolt-on neck. You're so we're getting some that. clothes. <laughs> oh, we should almost have some blue tape for the... Oh, my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> Folks, we're in for a surprise here. And I don't know if it's good or bad. <laughs> oh, no. It looks amazing. It says Gibson. <laughs> There's no way on... I don't even know if you can show it now. I was not expecting that. But... Oh, my God. I was slightly getting suspect... Suspect? Yes. Because of the fact they were not showing... The headstock. (laughs) They couldn't. That's why. Now we know why. But how could they do... Oh, no. This isn't... I like the guitar, but why do people do this? That's what I like about Firefly. Can you even show that? 
It's got EMG pickups. <laughs> that is beautiful. So guys, we'll, we'll blank that out if we have to. Made in USA. Oh no, made why? Now I'm gonna have to oh. sand that off. Beautiful Grover tuning heads. Tuning heads. Oh. It does in fact look mm -hmm. new. That was another thing. Was it actually new? It said new. Um, the EMG pickups, no sign of a battery, though it could be in here, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's passive. passive. Yeah, almost certainly. Uh, the color's nice. The color is perfect. It's got the double um, a binding. binding, yes. Double binding. We did a reveal of the Garrett uh, last video, and um, very different guitar. Oh my gosh. What do you think? Oh, the weight is perfect. The neck is a little bit dirty. The fretboard is just a little bit dirty. That's going to need some cleaning up, but... Now, did we have any sign of extra parts, like the screw No, on? not yet. Check okay. the bag. Check this bag closely, but that's not a deal breaker. We can definitely get a new yeah. one of those. How did they forget that? Well, guys, oh, here we go. Here it is. There it is. How about some comments? We would like your comments on these type of guitars. I truly did not know what name brand. And you'll see from the picture, they just didn't show it. Is this common? I mean, wow. some Chipsons and, and whatnot, they're still $600. So for the $288 range guitar, I was not expecting that. But when you're buying something from China, it's hard to know what to expect sometimes, and this was a surprise. So right now we're gonna tune it up and plug it into an amp and play a little demonstration for you guys. That'll be part two, see you next time. So grab a guitar.